It is a hot day out here. A little bit hotter than home, a little more dry, but it's not as humid, which is very nice. What's up my beautiful people? We are live in Africa. We're here in Zimbabwe. If you guys haven't seen any videos from here yet, gonna try to make a couple videos while we're here, but today, because, oh, look at that sun. It is glaring today because it is so hot. What does an animal like to do in Africa on a hot day? That is go to the watering hole. We are gonna go to the watering hole today and see what action we get into. Nick said there's a bunch of turtles in there, so I think we're gonna jump in and try to catch some, but you never know what you're gonna find there. There could be lions drinking, there could be elephants playing in the water, which means we wouldn't be able to get in. There could be all sorts of stuff, so we'll see what happens. There's a lot of water right now though, so the animals are kind of scattered. As you can see, the bush is very lush right now. During the dry season, there would be very few watering spots, very few water holes, and a lot of this would also not be lush and green. It would all be a desert, so the animals are really confined to some of the areas where there's still vegetation and water for them to consume. So we are gonna head there in a little bit. Let's see what happens. clean this lens off here a little bit. All right, I think that is better, guys. We are here at the watering hole and a bunch of animals, a bunch of zebras, two giraffes, a couple impala all just took off. They were here drinking, enjoying the shade and obviously enjoying some fresh water. Now this water down here, if you take a look at it, I don't know if this is water that you guys would be drinking. Yeah, no, it's not for me. It smells like uh, impala poop and uh, zebra poop. It's actually zebra. Zebra? Zebra? Anyhow, I'm not African. But uh, we have come to this watering hole today because it is filled with mud turtles. And so we've seen some of their heads popping up. Now that the animals are all scared out of here, I believe I'm gonna hop in here and see if we can get a turtle inside of the watering hole. I have no idea how deep it is in here and uh, hopefully there's no crocodiles in here, but what we've got to do is take the Steve Irwin sevens down here and we've got to put these uh, socks around the bases because what we don't want is the acacia thorns, these big thorny guys to go up into our boot and then into our foot and causing infection and nastiness with this water would not be fun anywhere, but especially here in the bush. I'm gonna just Walk right into here. Now yeah, hopefully there is no crocodiles. Oh, there's a turtle right there. All right, Nick is in it with me. I thought he was just gonna stay on the bank. Woo! The ground's pretty hard though, so far. It's a little soft. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to feel around with my feet more than my hands because I don't want to get my hands down there touching who knows what. if we can feel one. If you guys have seen some of the other videos, you might have seen Nick before as my, uh, my friend who has brought me here to Africa and also um, kind of my, my tour guide over here. Have you been into a watering hole before? Not like this, I haven't. Not like this. I don't think I don't think many people are diving into a watering hole for any reason. But that's how much I love you guys. That's how much uh, I care about you and how much we're trying to make content out here in Zimbabwe. It's dropping down deeper here. Ooh. Oh yeah, definitely deeper and really cold. Very, very cold there. So the turtles must love that. That might be one. Right. These turtles are probably wondering what is this guy doing. We're in it now. We're gonna get one. This is so hard because the water is browner than my shorts. So once they leave the surface and their head goes down, you just cannot see them and they probably dive straight down into the mud. Who's this? What do we got here? That ain't a turtle. Ooh, you can see the dark mud, which is probably really rich. Look at that. That is the mud that they like to hang out in. I'll get a handful of it for you here. 
doesn't that just look like a nice place to live? These turtles, if we do catch one, will bury themselves into this thick mud, which for me doesn't seem so pleasant, but they seem to like it. Guys, they are just diving so quick. Oh, watch your step there, Nick. This is a challenge. So, Nick and I got soaking wet. He was trying to help me catch a turtle when we put down the camera and uh, had one pop up right in front of my face. Wasn't able to get it, went for a swim, but we're heading to another watering hole now to see if we can get one. On the way to the next watering hole, we found this smaller one here and it looks like there's a turtle inside. Oh, it is so hot. Very hot. Even though this is a little pond, there's a lot of areas he could hide. To feel all around. Oh, oh, that's an elephant. Or an elephant's been. Let's see. There's definitely one in here, right? I thought so. I thought I'd see. Hopefully. And as much as I wanted to get back into this water on a different day after being showered, we're back at my favorite spot, the watering hole, the uh, very clean watering hole. So I didn't want to have to get into this water for nothing. So I needed to catch a turtle before I left here. And that's why we've come back. Really don't want to get in. Dry boots, dry clothes. I really don't have a different approach this time, but I think if we focus on the bank, we might be able to find one in the shallows. We've been seeing their heads pop up here. So I'm just gonna keep walking around like this. Last time I was swimming around, we might get to that today. I'm not sure. Missed him. <laughs> there was one right in front of me there. <coughs> I could see him just underneath the surface. Dove on him and wasn't able to get him. Back to square one. I think I'm gonna feel with my hands. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if those bubbles are from me. I think he's wedged up under here. Oh. I feel him. I feel him right here. I've got him. I've got him. He's little. Whew. Look at this. We've got our first one. Just a little guy. Oh my goodness. You guys are too quick. Finally, after two days of mud diving in these water holes of Africa, we've got what we are after. Oh, he's stinky. I'd probably be stinky too if I lived in here. It's not the best uh, bath water, but look at this brilliant little guy. Not much to him, not much crazy pattern, but actually that's probably what keeps him safe, just being darker colored. As soon as he goes under, he disappears. Just a really cool little turtle. And the coolest thing about him that I'm seeing here, when he tucks his head in, it kind of goes sideways. And then watch this, he'll flip this just up like that for extra protection so he can actually tuck this scale or a piece of his shell rather in to protect his feet and protect his little head there. But he is just a little one. We've definitely seen some bigger ones around here and he's gonna get a lot bigger. But we are gonna let you go on your way, buddy. This is the African black mud turtle or 
pan terrapin, as some people say. He's trying to use his little feet there. Look at his little cute feet. He's not really trying to bite, which is a, which is a cool sign because we don't want to get bitten right now. But I'll let you go on your way, buddy. Don't you worry. So we've climbed out of the water here, and it's time to let this little guy go. I don't know what you're going to eat. Oh, there's his head. There's his head. Look at that pretty little guy. I don't know what this guy is going to be eating in here, but uh, hopefully he gets big and strong. Let's let you go, buddy. And just like that, he disappears. Woo! So that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I've gotta rinse myself off. Might have to dive back in there, but uh, please like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more from Africa and the other adventures back at home, what we normally do on the channel with lions, tigers, chimpanzees, all sorts of craziness. Hit the notification icon if you guys wanna be notified when I post, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.